Welcome to Terraform tutorial. So in the previous video, we have seen uh, how do we provision like AWS instance to using Terraform. So Terraform is the most popular uh, infrastructure as code compared with the Ansible and other tools like Chef and Buffett, it has become more popular because Terraform is providing configurations with in a simple most readable format json format and terraform is uh, a tool where we can build change the infrastructure safely and efficiently and uh, terraform is a provisioning tool for multiple cloud providers uh, it supports with aws it supports with uh, azure and as well as gcp Terraform includes most of the components could be low level like computing instances, networking services, storage services, and also some high level components like DNS entries and as well as software as service features, etc. And in the previous video, we have seen how do we spin up uh, AWS instance using Terraform. All right. First, let us move on to our aws account and where we are going to first check with logging into our account and then we check with the, the instances running with in ec2 we can observe there is no instances running here so in this video we are going to spin up the services at a time in multiple regions let us say one is in ap south and one more we will take any other job so that we wanted to at a time deploy our instances and spin up our instances in multiple jobs so here we have seen there is no instance and we will take us west one where there is no instances running with right the number of instances would be zero no instances running now as we all know like uh, to create with a, a terraform config file we need a iam user account and previously we have already created one user account and we have got uh, if you wanted to create with a iam user account just you can go to uh, user creation of the user and get for the user account secret key and also connection key we just select with the iam user so for an iam user you can create with the i have already created okay terraform multi-user whenever you wanted to create select a username go to add user i create with the the username is multi user one add user so you need to provide with the accessibility with the programmatic access and also uh, policy related permissions which is like you can give administrator access for this user so that he can spin up your instances so adding a tag is optional you may give a tag related to your user account so here is a user account we are going to create where whenever you create it will give you the secret key in a from a separated file you just go and download this file and then where you can get your okay your credentials you can just open it and you can go and copy your credentials this is what is access key this is what your secret code so we have got the user account and then uh, we started with our account and we have checked there is no instances created in both the zones so we have checked in the south one AP South one zone and the West US zone. Both the places like there is no instances running with. Now we would like to deploy these services. As usual, we create a folder 
so this time i'm going to i've already created so here is a folder we create with the terraform multiple and as we know we need to write a configuration file that is okay a demo file where in the demo file we need to it could be any name and the extension should be tf so demo.tf let's go here you can check first is the provider how do we get the provider here to get the provider so you need to search for okay your aws provider where you will be getting this configuration you take it and you need to copy your access key and the secret key that's what we did in our file demo file we copied our access key and secret key so this is the keys we need to give it from our file where we have downloaded so copy the access key put it over here and then the region in which you are working with you have to select the region this is a secret key region is ap south and the next is let us say we have to also provide the resources for this instance so to search for the resource here you can see aws instance provider so instance resources is nothing but here is the resource instance name and also resource ami image name these two are the configurations we need that is what we can take it from this uh, template board where we can get the configuration for resources so it is still getting open let me check here here this is how we need to write a, a resource the same skeleton code we can get it from here okay so this is a instance where this is the instance name and the instance id so what is this instance type and instance name okay this is the name you can give any name i'm going to give first models my instance name is south instance right so i'll give ap south instance now how do i get my id so just go here and for your given id ap south you search for ec2 instance when you go for instances image name image name you have to get it from ec2 dashboard go here and whenever you say launch instance it will give you the available images there may be a major linux machine or else it can be red hat it can be windows okay you can choose available any one of these available types but make sure that you are selecting ptr eligible otherwise it will be chargeable so take the image name and give the information and make sure that instance type also you are taking free tier eligible if you go here see here t2.micro which is a free tier so that it is not chargeable this is what is done but in our application we would like to deploy our so instances for multiple zones at a time so the same user account i wanted to use so let me go and copy this so same user access key and secret key that's fine and coming to my region i wanted to deploy in a different region so which region i wanted to deploy go here and i can select here services and say game ec2 okay and i go for a different region called us west one so if i go here my okay region name would be us west one so let me make you this is my region name actually for this particular region again i need a resource so let me copy the resource but my resource is going to be us west 
instance is my name. Simply I am giving a name. This could be user defined. Coming to here, also we have to give our Amazon machine image ID. So let me check here. It is not going to be the same for different regions. Okay. Check here. Go to this region. Select the available EC2 images. Go to instances. So far there is no instance running, zero instances. Now we will go for launch instance so that it will give the skeleton. This is the image which we have. Okay. At North California location. So this is the image I would like to make use for deployment. That we have selected two instances in US West one, AP South one. We have given the images. Done. Then, how do the system knows? Like this is the instance should connect with this resource, right? So that is what is we need to provide alias name. Alias equal to what is an alias name you wanted to give? So you wanted to give the alias name as best. Or West one two three anything. And here you need to give pod provider equal to okay aws dot your alias name you need to give that is called best. This is the configuration is needed so that this is the instance should be given here for a distance right so this is the instance us west one with this alias name will connect to this otherwise there will be a confusion for this okay configuration so to which instance which resource has to be configured that's all guys we have configured two aws instances to be deployed for one is for AP South one and the other one is for US West one and we have given it two different instance name US West instance and AP South instance and we have properly given the user secret key and access key and we have chosen AMI machine images for South zone AP South zone and US West zone this is the configuration is needed configuration I had earlier. So that let me save this first. And we have clearly checked it there is no instances running over here. So we have to spin up our instances using our Terraform script. Zero instances. See here there is no instance. Right? Done. Now let us uh, run our we are in this folder where we have created our configuration with the Terraform df file. Now the steps we have to run is first is Terraform init. We have to initialize our infrastructure based on given script file. So first it is going to create the infrastructure. The second step we are going to do is Terraform plan. So in this plan, it is going to check with the uh, number of instances you configure and then it will give you a plan to provision your two instances. Okay, plan is two. And next is the type of configurations and resources you have added, it is going to check. Next is we are going to say infrastructure that is Terraform apply up. Terraform init is first, Terraform plan is second step, third step is Terraform apply. And now we can see it will be asking for user approval. If you are saying OK, then it is going to deploy those instances in the respective regions. So it is identified AP South instance, US West instance, it is creating the instance, it takes few seconds. And here you can observe 10 seconds elapsed. By the time if you can see here, okay, there is no instance running.
parallelly it is going to spin up the instances in both the regions. Meanwhile, we will also go to our one more region and check. Okay, by the time it is finished, right? So I think now we can check it first here in this okay region. Let's refresh and see the instance initialized. Okay, instance is getting initialized, but it initial checking is still going on. Now let's move on to a piece of one, and here also the instance will be initializing. So here also the status is initializing, right? This is how by using Terraform we are able to initialize our infrastructure that is computing service EC2 instance. It's pretty comfortable to write the configuration with EC steps and executing EC steps and we are able to perform this kind of provisioning. So here is still it is getting it it takes few seconds and both the instances are ready to use now this is how you can write multiple configurations into the config file it is going to complete whenever status checks two by two checks done means your initialization is done so this is what is your instance details, instance public address, okay, uh, public DNS, all those features you can see. So now we are able to spin up our services. It's done. Okay. Now the final step we are going to do is called how do I destroy, right? So we are going to perform final step is called as Terraform destroy. Means at the same time we can also destroy our instances what we have created whenever a task is completed so you can start running the final step called terraform destroy now based on your configurations it will again check for your website and refresh the state and it is going to destroy the instance by the time the step is execution is completed here again it will take you to start destroying the instances it is destroying you can just refresh it So destruction is completed after 35 seconds it is done. Your instance is destroyed. Right? Let us check with our other zone also. The instance is destroyed. That's all guys. So here is the steps we have used to perform with configuration provided with the resource details and the resource configuration and uh, user details so that it can be deployed and we have executed finally four different steps that is terraform init first step is init second step is plan then apply then finally we perform the step called destroy all these are terraform uh, that's all with this tutorial.